This is a graceful watchman. Today I'm going to be showing you how to enable 64-bit while using a virtual machine. For those of you who want to get straight to the answer, you just want the answer right away, you know how to do it yourself. Basically all you have to do is go to your BIOS and enable virtualization. For those of you who don't really know what that means, I'm going to show you. Now on my machine right here, and by the way, I'm recording this on a phone because while when I go into the BIOS, I can't, I don't know how to even screencast it. I don't know how to screen record my BIOS, so I'm just going to do this whole thing through phone. Now I already enabled virtualization on mine, and then I, just now I disabled it, but I guess because I already enabled it, the 64-bit option is still here. Although it doesn't work. Before before I enabled it for the first time, it only showed 32 bit and that was it. But I'm going to show you. I created a virtual machine here, Solus. And as you can see, it is a 64 bit. Now it has worked in the past, I assure you of this. But if I start it up now, I get this message. And details. And it says I have to go to my BIOS, enable my CPU to do virtualization. That's basically what it's telling me. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to shut down. Now when I restart this on my laptop, it's an HP. I'm going to have to just press escape as soon as on startup. It might be different on yours, but... It's probably you press escape or you press F10. It's probably one of those two. Um, if you don't know, it'll probably say something right away, as I'll show you. Uh, it's sh my PC shutting down. And when it starts up, press escape. Now mine goes to grub because. I guess it just likes to go to grub right away because I'm running Linux. If you're running Windows, it'll probably go straight to this screen right here. Now I'm going to press F10 to go to the BIOS. F10. That's asking me for my password because I set it, my BIOS, so you, nobody can just... Turn off my laptop and get in my BIOS, so I'm going to put in my password. Now in the BIOS you can't use your mouse if you didn't know. So I'm going to go over to system configuration. I'm going to press enter on virtualization technology. And I'm going to enable it. And you can read this right here if you really, you know, really want to. but basically tells you this for a virtual machine um, if you have an older PC you probably don't even have you know 64 bit so you don't really need to worry about that you just need to check your system specs if you have it um, so my BIOS tells me F10 is to save and exit right there so it might be different on yours but I'm gonna press F10 to save and exit and press enter It's taking a minute. Okay. To boot my, now it's just booting up. Basically, I just enabled it for it to work on 64 bit. You can stick around and I'm going to show you the proof of that. But
Put in my password. This is a welcome screen for this uh, operating system, so I get out of that. Do that later. It's weird. Anyways, uh, so now I'm just gonna show you that it works now. So this was always here, but for you, that should just be showing up. Like, that should be showing up right now. I'm going to start this one. And as you can see from last time, it's actually working now. This is a 64-bit operating system on a 64-bit machine. And now that I enabled virtualization, now it's working. I hope that clears up some problems that you might have had. It's really blurry, actually. Okay. Well, I hope that helps some problems that you might have had, but it's pretty much as simple as that. Each BIOS is different, but this should have helped you either way. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.